to thank God for God's goodness, I want to thank God for the 10 years that God has kept us, established us, and then moved us forward. Praise the Lord. And I want to thank God for all the people that God had used in this assembly uh, from the world. Quite a number of them, you know, I, so most of them are not even in the UK at this point in time. Or wherever they have, know that God will reward them for good in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And for you, that God you know, had allowed to be partaker of this great thing that's happening this weekend, my prayer is that your portion will not be given to another in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So, on behalf of the uh, leadership and the member of RCC Social Assembly, we welcome you to the 10th year anniversary of the church. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. The Bible says we should not despise a uh, little beginning. Uh, it will be shocking that what we are seeing is still a little beginning. Praise the Lord. Uh, there was a time that my wife is the lead singer. I have that back up. So I brought a lapel mic on me in the congregation. So. So why is she singing? I'll be backing up. People will begin to wonder why would somebody be singing? We are hearing a lot of people's voice. They thought the angel was singing from heaven. But uh, after the, you know, I was the backup. Praise God. Uh, I don't think I need to do a lot of backup now uh, because God has made the back with you. Praise the Lord. So I just want to thank God for the great and the things God has done. And, and, and brethren, you see, there is a place appointed for people where they cannot be disappointed. And that kind of place is where you are tonight. You know, all you see around us is just, you know, grace and faith that there is nothing God cannot do. Praise the, praise the Lord. So we welcome you to this 10th year anniversary. And then uh, we pray that you just have one level time. And I pray. That as from tonight, your life will not remain the same in the name of Jesus. And uh, for as many that may be new here, the restroom is towards the, the back. That's the, the toilet. It's towards the, the back, and then there's no any fire alarm test. So if there's any fire alarm, it will be trumpet. Or, <laughs> or you know that thing. Not praise the Lord. But however, the exit door, you know, is a fire exit door, is that one and the one at the back. Praise the Lord. So have a wonderful time, praise of God. And then tomorrow will be a glorious one in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And I want to thank God for all the invited guests. Uh, Pastor Bola Dumadi from Denmark. <laughs> uh, I think Pastor Victor from Stilbo just stepped out now. And then uh, a brother of mine. Evans, you are blessed. Praise the Lord. Let me hand over to you. I know you are you are anxious to dance. But if you beat me in dancing, there will be something. So watch David's dance. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, the time has come and uh, we'll be going straight without any further waste of time. Actually, there's a category of people we did not invite. There are those who are coming to be onlookers. When others are dancing, they want to be looking. We actually did not invite such people. So if you are here, I'm sure you, you, you are here by mistake. What I'm trying to say is, please don't be a spectator. When it's time to dance, dance. And when it's time to rejoice, rejoice in the presence of God. And I know great things will happen in Jesus' name. So we're going to the administrations. Um, we are going to start it with uh, one of our songs. It says, Son of God, Son of Man, Son of Righteousness. We'll do that song. And after which, we'll start inviting the different groups. We have Voice of Gospel. Um, I'm aware they are running late because of traffic. We have um, Shout of Praise. We have still got quiet. I think they just stepped out. Probably they are doing some final touches to their work. 
Um, we also have a Congolese cool team coming up, and we have our wonderful brother, Brother Evans. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> so it's going to be great to be God's presence today. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. If you are clapping up in the Lord, it can be louder. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. All that is within me, bless his holy name. Amen. While the song was going on, our team from Darlington, the voice of gospel, walked in. And I welcome you. Actually, next on the program is the voice of gospel. I don't think they are ready now. So we are going to do another song, hoping that they will be ready by the time we are done. Just sit back if you can and be blessed. If you can, please stand up and dance, okay? Hallelujah. Amen. He said if you can, but I want you to. Can you stand up, please? Amen. Amen. The song we're about to do is a very jivey song, so if you're sitting down, you won't feel the impact. Hallelujah.
champions. We remember the champions. We remember the champion of the earth. We remember the champion of the whole world. Can you watch it with me? Very safe. Very slowly.
had the final say in Newcastle. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Is anybody ready tonight? Just turn on the lights. Just turn on the lights.
name so sweet. Amen. Praise God. Sometimes I think I'm wasting your time with all these plenty introductions. Please, without wasting much time, we want to make welcome our guest minister from London.
lift your voice. It's greatly to be praised. Come on. Put 28,000 on this ground. 
Unfortunately, I wasn't a big boy, but I had a big coach. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know where the college came. I was, I was coming here every Monday to pray. From September, from October 2007 until March 2018. September 2017, rather. October 2017, till March 2018. Every Monday, I was coming here. And one of the things is that God one day will place you inside this building. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. My prayer is that God will give you faith. Amen. You know, that will, that will Amen. boycott your pastor. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The faith that will put your pastor aside. Amen. You know, and God will do what He wants to do, God will give you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Tonight, I want to appreciate you know, our senior pastor, our Pastor Thomas. But if you send him a good pastor,
that for someone, I don't know how God is going to be like my brother when he was thinking. We don't know how. We don't know how. And it is not your duty to know how. But he said, I should let you know tonight that he's going to do it for you before the end of this year. Not next year. Before the end of this year. Because of your praise tonight. And the scripture also came, Romans 8, 28, and everything <laughs> worked together. How God is going to work it, I don't know. But I prophesy to your life tonight that before the end of this year, everything will work together Amen. for your good in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. You may not see any prayer here, but when I hear God, I know. <laughs> Two years ago, God said to me during the service, said, I heard the word babies. Babies. And I announced babies. But I said to God, God, if you are going to bless everybody, baby, I want to be number one. And July, my own came, and that one August. So that almost four IBS failed. You know, IBS four failed. Another one in September. Another one in October. Another one in November. That is God. <laughs> that is God. And I pray that your own testimony also is on the way before the end of this year in the mighty name of Jesus. Quickly, I have a few minutes. And I'm just going to summarize my message. The topic of my message today is the power of praise. Now we all know that there is power in praise. Psalms 34 verse 1, David said, I will bless the Lord at all times and his praises shall continually be in my mouth. And as you know, 15 and level says, who is like unto thee, O God, who is like unto thee, amongst other gods, who is like unto thee, you are what? In others, and you are fearful in praises, always doing wonders. Thank God for tonight. I love God. I just feel like praising God tonight. I'm really enjoying myself. But as well, I want you to know that you can praise God, like he said, and praise God amidst. There are some things that you must know that when you praise God, you can get in touch with his power and enjoy the power that's attached to praise. Praise the Lord. How many of you agree with me that God is powerful? And in praise also, there is power. Why? You want to ask me that way? Why? Praise why? I'm just going to give you like two points and I'm going to quickly, I want to be very brief with my message within that 10 minutes. There is power in prayer. 
Ephesians chapter 9, verse 8. He said, Let your garment always be white and let your head never lack oil. And how can you get out that oil when you praise God? I'm not just talking about just you praise God from the bottom of your heart. Now, that Psalms 92 that we read, Psalm 92, verse 1, he said, It is a good thing to do what? To give thanks to God. And to praise his name. And verse 10 says, And he will exalt my horn like the horn of a unicorn. And the people says, He will anoint my head with fresh oil. Now, from Psalm 92, if you read from verse 1, when you are reading scripture, don't just read first part and leave the other. Verse 1, when you continue, when you give thanks to him and you praise him, then verse 10, you have access to fresh oil every morning, every day. I love your worship and everything, but you can do better. But when you praise him, you have access to fresh oil, to do things in a different way. To heal, you sing, and people will receive healing. Not just singing. Praise the Lord. So when you have access to strength in praises, you have access to what? Fresh oil. And number three, you have access to growth. One of the things he told me when we came in, don't worry, this place are going to be having not only one service, two. Three, four. I can you say amen or not, God will do it. Because you are saying amen as if you don't believe. Overflow. Amen. We don't know how, but God will do it. For God to provide this thing, then he can do anything. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, let the people praise thee, let them praise thee, and the earth will do what? It will increase. Now, anything you read the word of God, Jesus was speaking about the parable. Luke chapter 8 verse 11 it says, Now the word is the seed. Luke 8 11. And that says, When we praise him, as we increase. That means anytime you praise God, praise is like rain. Rain. When you praise him. Now let me please say this. Some people have been praising God for how many years? What seems to be happening? Galatians 6 19 says, Do not be weary in doing good. For in due season, you shall reap if you fail not. Don't stop praising him. Continue to praise him. Continue to load your cloud. The Bible says, if the cloud be full of rain, it will do what? Empty itself. Don't stop praise. Continue to. By the time your rain will fall, even your enemies will come. And the just will do it in the mighty name of Jesus. So continue to praise him. When you praise him, you load your cloud with rain. Then when the cloud is full of rain, the cloud will do what? Empty itself. And you see your heart begin to increase. In the mighty name of Jesus. So therefore you receive strength, you receive fresh oil, and of course you receive growth in present. Now, Psalms 47 verse 7. He says, God is the God of all the earth. He says, let the people praise him with understanding. Now, wisdom is the principal thing, right? But in order to get it, get understanding. It means that you can praise God. If you don't praise God with understanding, then you won't get any result. I have a lot to say, that's why I'm rushing. Let the people praise Him with what? Understanding. My people pray it because they lack wisdom. Now, you don't praise God. You don't praise God because you want to make Pastor happy. Or because you want to satisfy and better pass my neighbor. No. You are praising God, number one, because God called you from darkness into light. At first Peter chapter 2, verse 9, he said, You are a chosen generation, a real priest, a holy nation, a regular people, to show forth the praise of him that called you from darkness into light. So every time you praise him, you are praising him because he called you from darkness into light. Now you are a believer. So it is your duty to praise him because you are a believer. Number two, you praise him. Why? Because he created you to praise him. Now they created this microphone to do what to project my voice. I cannot use this to write. I cannot wear this as a jeans. They created this so God created you to show forth his praise. So if you don't praise him, you're not fulfilling purpose. Isaiah 43, verse 21. Isaiah 43, 21 said, These people, I created them for myself to show forth my praise. So every time you are praising God. Let that register that I'm praising God because He created me to praise Him. You are not doing God any favor. Praise the Lord. You are not doing Him any favor. He created you to praise Him. So if you are not praising Him, what you are doing is what? Wrong. You are not fulfilling purpose. I created you to show forth my praise. I called you from light, from darkness into light to do what? To show forth my praise. And number three, when you 
for you to connect to the power attached to praise. Praise the Lord. Yeah. I have just one minute. And finally, have a lifestyle of praise. Don't only praise God only on Sunday. No. Have a lifestyle of praise. Always praise God all the time. I love David. David said, my heart is fixed. My heart is fixed, oh Lord, I will give you praise. Psalms 57, verse 7. That's why God said, David is the man out of my own. I said, my heart is fixed. No matter what. No matter what I'm facing. No matter my situation. I am, my heart is fixed. I'm going to praise you in the morning. Praise you in the afternoon. Praise you in the evening. He said, I will praise the Lord at all times. And his praises shall continually be in my mouth. And I pray for you. That his praises shall continually be in your mouth in the mighty name of Jesus. As I conclude, Romans chapter 4, verse 20. The Bible says concerning our father Abraham. He said, he staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief. But he was strong in faith, giving glory to you. Romans 4, 20. Giving glory to God. Praising God. Let it be your lifestyle. I love our boy, he said. Rejoice, I say rejoice. Philippians 4 for all this rejoice. Let praises be a lifestyle. Don't only praise God on Sunday. Thank God for today. I don't feel like going back to them again. Praise the Lord. But I must go back to meet my family. So let praises be a lifestyle. Let your heart be fixed. I love one thing about David. You look at 2 Samuel chapter 6, verse 14. If you start from verse 7, we all know the story. Uzziah was, was trying to help God. And the Bible says he died. And verse 8 of that second Samuel chapter 6. David was displeased. And in verse 14, the Bible says, And David danced with all his might. Never allow any situation to determine how you praise God. Let your praises determine every situation in your life. Praise the Lord. I'm going to repeat that as I conclude. Never allow any situation. Is it unfortunate? Lack of job? You are sick? Never allow that to determine how you praise God. But let how you praise God determine your situation. Because each time you praise God, there is always a lifting. Praise the Lord. Are you blessed tonight? Are you blessed? Why don't you put down your head and just pray? The Father, give me a garment of praise in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus, we bless you for your word and his comfort. We pray that we will never allow any situation to determine how we praise you, but we will praise you and let our praise determine every other thing that affects our life. Thank you, Father. Bless your son. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord. That was powerful. Can we put our hands together for Jesus? Amen. We've come to a very important segment of today's meeting, and it is our, our chosen concourse. We have a team of very vibrant children of God that will be coming to do a dance. Please encourage them. Amen. And we put your hands together as a member of our chosen concourse. It can be louder. Louder. Hallelujah.
King of Israel, the Lord our God is mighty. He's full of grace and mercy. He's given us His Son, Emmanuel. Atonement for the sins, a gift to set us God to be restless. Hallelujah. 
Solomon gave such a, an offering. In First Kings chapter 30, the Bible says he gave an offering, a thousand bond offering. And God became restless. And said, what would I do for this man? Hallelujah. And at that moment, that man had a request before God. And God said, so don't worry, Solomon, I will surpass your request. There is somebody here. What God will do in your life will surprise you. Can somebody say a better amen? amen. God will surpass your expectations. Can I have an envelope, please? Let's package our offering tonight. Let it be the one that has a voice. Let it be the one that will speak for you. Let it be the one that will make God to become restless in order to bless you. Hallelujah. Can I have an envelope, please? Let's let's package our offering and let's come to our feet. This is the body of the Lord. Shall we rise God's people? I want to lift up your offering to heaven. Choir, take your take your offering to Somebody said that choir don't uh, give offering. I pray that for over your life. Yeah. Somebody say amen to that. You know why I said so? I know so. I have somebody who was in my choir for about 13 years and never been that. When it's offering time, we just go to toilets. Yeah. Hallelujah. That will not be your portion. So why I take an offering? Take an offering. Very quickly. Take an offering. I have told God in my life, I will not be collecting tithes if I'm not paying tithes. Amen. I don't have right to be collecting from people if I'm not the tither. Why should I? And it's like I'm bringing costs upon my life. So if you are leading people to God's presence, you should be able to demonstrate it so that the blessing, you can be a good chorister and see the poor. They're looking for people who, who will bring you. But look at Evans. The pastor tells you how much you paid him to come from London. But you are here, you don't see me. Praise God. I pray God will take you to nations. Yeah. Say a better amen. No? Yeah. But be faithful in everything. Including your offering and your item. You be faithful. I believe God that these 10 years anniversary will mark a turning point in your life. Yeah. To mark a turning point. Yeah. Hallelujah. Pastor said I should take the offering and pray for the church. I'm still going to be here tomorrow. Because your pastor is one of the is one of the people that I make boast of. Hallelujah. When he came to this city, he's a, he's a very humble man. He's a very diligent man and very respectful. When he came to this city, I was his first part of call. And he was so humble. He made his intentions known to me. Say, Pastor, I was, I was sent from Scotland to come and plant a church in this city. And I said, you are welcome. Hallelujah. And he was with us for about three, four months. Amazing man of God. He worshiped with us. No wonder when he wanted to start, I, I supported him. I was, we were looking for property together. Can you remember, sir? But I was only everywhere. Because he's such a humble man. He knows how to prosper. So I'm not surprised with this. I would have been surprised if it is less. Nice. I'm not surprised. Believe me. I'm not surprised. Hallelujah. Shall we pray? Father, we want to specially thank you for your goodness and your mercies. For 10 years of ministry in Newcastle, and this is what you have done. We don't know how, but you did it. We give you all the glory. Lord, I pray, oh God, this is the beginning of what you have started in this ministry. You will do more in the name of Jesus. Lord, this is our offering. Receive it, oh God. Multiply it back into our life. Glorify your name. When we gather together tomorrow to dedicate this building to the glory of your name, let your presence be mighty in this place. Amen. All your servants that you are going to use, I pray, you will use all of them for your own glory. Amen. 
Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. Amen. In Jesus' anointed name we pray. Amen. Amen. Lord, you are so good. Blessed be your name. church and there is dinner in the evening after that please don't miss any part of it both the dedication and the dinner praise the lord so that you don't get angry with me next time you see me you don't come for the dinner god help you in jesus name praise the lord so the, the choir will continue and we dance until we are tired but let's share the grace thank you very much for everyone that have come we appreciate you we are going to be with you in the mighty name of jesus this of joy will not cease in your families. In the name of Jesus, Amen. will not cease in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. I will share the grace with the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet of the Holy Spirit. Be with us now and forever. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Choir. Been around the world, searching for a